What's going on everyone? Charlie again here. We have a very important filing to talk about out of FINRA. This is SR FINRA 2022-011, Expand Trace Reporting Requirements to Trades in U.S. Dollar-Denominated Foreign Sovereign Debt Securities. So the purpose of this, FINRA is submitting this proposed rule to change, or this proposed rule change to amend certain rules in the Rule 6700 series, which is entitled Trade Reporting and Compliance Engine, Trace. To require members to report trace transactions in U.S. dollar denomination, foreign sovereign debt securities. Under the proposal, trades in U.S. dollar denominated foreign sovereign debt securities would be subject to same-day reporting and would not be disseminated publicly. Disseminated means to dis, uh, disperse information to. Like whenever the news it comes on the air and delivers a news report, they're disseminating information to you. Now, the background on this, currently almost all U.S. dollar denominated debt securities traded in the U.S. are trace eligible securities and therefore are subject to trace reporting requirements. This includes the U.S. dollar denominated debt of foreign private issuers. However, trades in the U.S. dollar denominated debt of foreign sovereign issuers are not subject currently to trace reporting. I wonder why. Now, Rule 6710 generally defines a trace eligible security as a debt security that is U.S. dollar denominated and is one issued by a U.S. or foreign private issuer. And if a restricted security as defined in Securities Act Rule 144A3 sold pursuant to Securities Act Rule 144A. That doesn't tell you much. Number two, issued or guaranteed by an agency as defined in Rule 6710K or a government-sponsored enterprise as defined in Rule 6710. Three, a U.S. Treasury security as defined in Rule 6710, paragraph P. Now, the term trace eligible security does not include a debt security that is issued by a foreign sovereign or a money market instrument. Important to note. Now, the proposed rule change would enhance FINRA's regulatory audit trail and provide FINRA with important transaction information on a growing segment, growing segment of the market. As discussed further below, the U.S. dollar-denominated foreign sovereign debt market is a large market segment. FINRA believes the proposed rule change would advance FINRA's oversight of the fixed income markets without imposing significant burdens and costs on members as FINRA understands that U.S. dollar-denominated foreign sovereign debt securities generally trade at firms that already have trace reporting workflows in place. Now, the proposed amendments. FINRA is proposing changes to the trace reporting rules to require that members report to trace transactions and U.S. dollar-denominated foreign sovereign debt securities for regulatory purposes. First, FINRA is proposing to amend paragraph A of Rule 6710, which is definitions, to include the term foreign sovereign debt security in the definition of trace eligible security. FINRA also would define foreign sovereign debt security in paragraph KK of rule 6710 as a debt security issued or guaranteed by the government of a foreign country, any political subdivision of a foreign country, or a supranational entity. Now, a supranational entity would include multinational organizations such as the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, which is the World Bank, the Inter-American Development Bank, the Asian Development Bank, the African Development Bank, the International Finance Corporation, and the European Investment Bank. Under the proposed amendments, reportable transactions and foreign sovereign debt executed on a business day at or after 12 a.m. Eastern Time through 5 p.m. Eastern Time must be reported the same day during trace system hours. Now, what's interesting? FINRA believes the same day reporting requirement as opposed to a shorter as opposed to a shorter reporting time frame is appropriate because trades in US dollar denominated foreign sovereign debt securities would be reported for regulatory purposes only. To reflect this, FINRA is further proposing to amend rule 6750, which is entitled dissemination of transaction information to specify that FINRA will not disseminate information on transactions and foreign sovereign debt securities at this time. FINRA estimates that the benefit from improved surveillance of member trading activity in U.S. dollar-denominated foreign sovereign debt securities 
outweighs the cost to members associated with complying with the proposed reporting requirement. Alternatives considered? Fuck, fuck all. None. Now, this is what's funny. This is what is funny. FINRA equals NASDAQ. NASDAQ equals exposure to Chinese ADRs. Chinese ADRs are bond convertible. No dissemination of trades on top of this? I know what you're doing, FINRA. You bastards. You bastards. Anyways, that's the ruling. Let's go, Brandon.